Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome inside the Summerland Arena. My name is Tim Hogg here alongside Joel Barg as we get set to bring you KIJHL hockey action on Tuesday night. A little midweek action against the North Okanagan Knights and the Summerland Steam. Now Shag has to go all the way around. Drayton Martin can't reach it. And he'll now skate onto it. He's checked by Babakaif. A good body check there by the young Summerland forward. And he's now got the puck out through the middle for Hadley. There's a shot. They score! I believe tipped by Andrew York. I'm not sure if it was tipped or not, Tim, but uh, just a nice shot there from Calvin Hadley. And uh, might be their second shot on goal, but Calvin Hadley or Andrew York now has Summerland up 1-0. Andrew York in there as well. North Okanagan's going to come out with the puck. Babakai's going to keep it in as he takes a hit from Riley Swiskoski. York has a word for him. And now Swiskoski tips the puck to the blue line. Alex Williams takes it away and gets it to Andrew York. York now up the wall. He's going to get it back as he takes a hit, but a good pass through to Calvin Hadley. Hadley down the far side, winds and fires. Daniel Paul, where is it? It's in the net. Andrew York. That one is definitely Andrew York. Cleaning up in front of the net. So York, his sixth from Hadley and Babakai. There's a hit on the wall. Good job by Jeff Slinker. There's Pettit now. He works his way towards the front of the net. Gale's going to dunk that down and get it back to Matt Alcorn. Alcorn with a shot through. He scores! And now it's going to be turned away by Jack Berger. He'll skate up the right wing side. He's watched by Alex Williams. As he puts a puck in, skates. A good job by Williams to take the body. And the puck still sits loose. Berger's now going to come back to it. He's bodied again by Alex Williams. And the puck will come back to the point. Chris Peterson bobbles that, but he sends it across. There's a shot. They score! Now in behind the net. It's taken away and sent the length of the ice. And there's a bit of a fire drill. And here we're going to have a tilt. It's Maury Babakaif and Jeff Schlinker. Babakaif giving up the, the size on this one, but he's going to get in, get himself into it here as he connects on the chin with Jeff Schlinker. A good tilt. Great tilt here, Tim. And Babakaif gets the takedown. And hopefully if we can get through this and then uh, get some five on five, next whistle we should have our media timeout. 7.13 to go, 30 seconds left in the fused penalty. I believe that was for tripping if I'm correct. Now there's a giveaway, Sugar up front, he scores! You know, you mentioned it earlier, Timmy, the uh, puck pursued from Everett Sugar. And uh, we see that on this goal here. Puck pursued from Everett Sugar, comes in, forces Daniel Paul, who has the puck, tries to bank it off the backboards, ends up giving it right onto the stick of Sugar, and manages to beat him around the corner, put the puck in, and gives a 4-1 lead here to Summerland. 7.05 left to go in the second. Sugar's 11th of the season and 21st point. Into a maze of bodies, he's going to hold it on the line. Jack Berger just broke his stick and skated to the bench. Lucky the ref didn't see him as that normally is a penalty under BC Hockey Rule, if I'm correct, right, Joel? Well, if you, uh, if you play the puck, stick. and yeah, I'm not sure about the holding on. Here's Cameron Welch, a nice little move. They send it out front, they score! As he faked Jared Breakers out and then banked it in off him. We got a 4-2 game with 5-11 left in period two. See him looking at his knuckles a little bit. Here come the Knights. There's Marzocco, or sorry, Whitcomb with a shot. Now Peterson's going to walk in. There's a rebound. They score. And then he trips up his man on the way by. No penalties on either side. Here's Matt Alcorn. He's going to make sure that puck doesn't get taken from him. And now there's a penalty coming to Alcorn as he slashes stick out of the hands of Jack Berger. 
Bit of a late call there, too, as the uh, play was already turning back up. Hey, Summerland oh, thought hello. they were going, and we got a broken piece of glass. That's quite something, isn't it? <laughs> Hopefully nobody's hurt down there, as the piece of glass in the penalty box just absolutely shattered. And the rink attendant is going to have to come out for this one. I would bet we're just going to go to uh, just going to go to uh, intermission early here so we can get this cleaned up. Into offensive territory he leaves for Josh Pilon. That's in his skates. And the puck's going to be turned over. Here's Luke. Levi Harris, sorry. Now here's Ben Dietrich Scammell on a break. He cuts through, he shoots, he scores! Here's a puck in neutral ice. Jack Berger's going to pick it up. Good stick by Cole Williams. As now Andrew York can't clear the zone. Another good stick. That one by Cameron Welch to keep the puck in the zone. Now Cole Williams shields off his man. Now Berger takes the puck away from him. Berger for Welch. Welch is going to walk out front. He has a shot. He scores. Malchow, Gale, and Pettit onto the ice here as Drayton Martin and Calvin Hadley go toe-to-toe -to -toe in the corner. Pettit's now going to come to the puck. Cameron Welch fell and it allowed Pettit out through the middle. Here comes Summerland three on two. Malchow wide. He's got Pettit going to the net. He scores! What a pass. Great pass. Great vision there from uh, Jared Malchow. Have Hadley. Nice little accidental fake pass. He's going to get it now over center. Steven Fust into offensive territory, but here comes Peterson again out. He's played a ton in this game. As Breakers now has that one, it gives away and they score! A terrible bounce in behind Jared Breakers and Dean Whitcomb has his second goal of the night and it's 6-5. Chasky does a good job here to keep that puck and now Malchow's got it. At the line, Malchow for Jasky. Down low for Wyatt Gale. Gale back up to the far side for Pettit. Pettit's going to walk, he scores! And for the Summerland team, puts him over, over 50 for the year. We will say goodnight, leave you to it. After a 7-5 victory, Summerland going to play Chase here Friday night. That's their next game. That'll be a big one. Hope to have you with us for that one. We'll have full uh, full pregame, hopefully, with coaches' comments from both Brad Fox and, and John DePore prior to, prior to puck drop. So we'll be here with you at 7.15, and we will say goodnight. On behalf of Joel, I've been Tim. Hope you've had a good night. We'll see you Friday.